Okay, here's the Space Wiser uh, first edition. And this is the one follow up to the first video where the disc shooter wasn't shooting. So, in order to get to the screws to release the top of the head, I had to take the front of the body off, which was just a matter of four screws. And um, then I could get to the disc mechanism up here on top, which Maybe if I move the camera, you can see a little better. This was the motor that wasn't running. This is the spinner that spins everything up to speed to shoot the disc. But this motor over here, this is the kicker motor. It runs this kicker arm because the disc has to be kicked forward to where it hits the spinner in order to shoot out. And it had a... First, this motor just needed a bump to get going. But then that motor, which was running, wasn't working the kicker because it had a split gear. I think I have the gear here somewhere, but let's, um, let's got this up to speed. That's what that sound is. And this is the shoot one. You see that kicker move? So that kiss kicks the disc forward to shoot it out the mouth. And down here you can see the uh, electronics are very antiquated compared to anything made these days. It's all transistor logic. Uh, obviously the voice chip would have been a uh, cob, a chip on board, but uh, all of the H-bridge drivers and everything else for the motors in this thing, it's all transistor logic. So that kind of dates this, this one, which, geez, I don't know. It, it was listed as being at some uh, obscure store in the first video. What did we find? It said, dollars and deals. So, I don't know, probably 1990s. This was the second one we're going to take a look at, but hadn't decided whether I want to try to put this together. You know, there's just too many screws. I'm not going to keep running the video while I just screw this thing together. Let's do a part three. <laughs> 